Hey there, it's Tank Girl. I'm here in Beijing at the Le Eco event uh, and they just announced three new phones. Uh, this is the uh, Le 2 and it's uh, also followed by a Le 2 Pro and a Le Max 2. The 2 Pro and the 2 are physically identical. This is what they look like. The Max 2 is slightly larger and I'll get to it in a second. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at a 5.5 inch 1080p display on this device. I'm not sure what it's made of but it's a pretty good looking display off the top of my head. Uh, a little bit off on the viewing angles but it's pretty good overall. This does have a Helio X20 chip on board. The uh, 2 Pro has a Helio X25. You get 3 gigs of RAM on this with 32 gigs of built-in storage. There is a uh, fingerprint sensor as well on the back. But the camera on the back here is a 16 megapixel whereas the uh, 2 Pro has a 21 megapixel. But both of them have 8 megapixel front-facing cameras. Now uh, you can see the sensors and the earpiece and the camera here and at the bottom here you can't really see them very well but there's some buttons. Uh, unfortunately the back button is in the wrong place. It's swapped with the recent app buttons and there's a home button here. At the bottom here you'll notice it's a USB type C which is a welcome thing uh, but we see some speakers as well and nothing really on the left hand side other than the SIM tray and then on top you'll notice there's an IR sensor but no headphone jack and still no headphone jack anywhere except for the volume rocker and power lock key here on the right side. That's because as you can see here there's an accessory uh, headset that has a USB type C connector and it comes in the box as an adapter as well for a USB type C to 3.5 millimeter which means that this has got to have a DAC and a headphone amp built into that adapter which is a, not a cheap solution but as you can see it's a really well made it feels like it's uh, metal I'm not sure if the end caps are metal too so rose gold obviously it's uh, not that thin which is kind of an odd choice to remove the headphone jack but I guess they're uh, trying to do uh, an Apple thing since Apple's rumored to be removing the headphone jack next year from the new iPhones but we'll see if that actually happens. So that's it in a nutshell about the 2 and the 2 Pro. The only difference is basically the rear camera and the processor inside. Let me get you some footage of the Max 2 so you can have a look. Hey guys and so this here is the Le Max 2. This is the bigger guy with a 5.7 inch Quad HD display and a Snapdragon 820 on board. It also has a 21 megapixel camera that's available on the 2 Pro and the 8 megapixel front facing shooter. Speaking of camera there it is. Uh, as you can see sensor, earpiece, again IR port but no headphone jack. Basically the same layout you can see here. There is a SIM slot uh, on the uh, left hand side, a USB type C on the bottom and a volume rocker and power lock key on the right hand side. But no headphone jack, you're going to rely on USB type C for that. Same fingerprint reader, this is also a rose gold unit. Uh, one thing that's kind of mind-bogglingly amazing about this, if you ask me, is it's got 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. And by the way, I was wrong before the 2 Pro versus the 2. It's 3 gigs of RAM on the 2 and 4 gigs of RAM on the 2 Pro. So there you have it, the 2, 2 Pro and Max 2 here in Beijing. Cheers, alright?